I just got to the Chantilly card show straight from the airport and I brought these suitcases to fill up with cards because we need cards at Cards HQ and there's lots of value bins all over the show floor that I want to go raid now. What do I need to be looking for at the show today? On Whatnot right now, it's all about the names. You're looking for the star players. It's like $5 to $50, is that about right? That's our sweet spot right now, yeah. Bulk deals are the way to go. Buy, okay. out, buy out with the whole value box. I usually start my offer low, start at like a dollar card. You're offering a dollar card to start, okay. Just, just so, to see where they're at. Because okay. sometimes dealers are just trying to li liquidate it so they can put another showcase on the table or you know. Right. I know why people want to get rid of that stuff. Okay. You just got to go dealer to dealer to dealer. All right. And uh, shoot your shot and see what happens. <laughs> okay. Well, we don't, I, I, I got to get moving then. I got to get moving. <laughs> so this box is a dollar each unless priced otherwise. Oh, right off the bat, there's a card that's priced at $10 and $2 and $3. Do you want, what's the strategy here, Ryan? What if we were to pull out some of the more valuable cards so we know how many there are that are legitimately more than a dollar? and then yeah. kind of get a sense. How many cards do you think are in here total? Just roughly 700. All right, so let's pull out some of the more valuable ones. Maybe anything that looks like it's like maybe above five bucks or something like that. Oh, we got a chipper rookie card, look at that. So they've got a lot of baseball prospects in here, not necessarily the biggest names, but like a lot of first Bowmans of smaller prospects. Is, is that gonna be a challenge? No, we have, we have people that like the first Bowmans. Okay, you know, they actually, they actually got a pretty wide variety of different cool cards in here though. You've got yeah. actually a lot of stuff that's older. Look at that Jose Canseco RBI Kings. This is a little trip down memory lane on some of these cards. <laughs> okay, so I'm not seeing anything in here that's super valuable. These these seem to me like, you know, like a lot of dollar type cards. Some of these I don't think you'd maybe even quite get a dollar for, but although there's a lot of others in here that like nicely conditioned Frank Thomas cards and numbered Randy Johnson card. Oh, Juan Gonzalez, man, I lost a lot of money <laughs> investing in that guy back in the day. <laughs> Look at McGuire, like an old school McGuire card. That's cool. Okay, so this left column, the, the, the start of it was some first Bowmans, but then the rest of the column is all of these, you know, cards from the 90s of all of these uh, all-time great baseball players. So a lot of big names, but obviously guys who aren't currently playing today. How, how is that stuff going to sell? Like how's Mark McGuire and Frank Thomas and Sammy, Sammy Sosa and Kirby Puckett and Barry Larkin? Like how's that type of stuff? Ozzie Smith. Jeff Bagwell. Is there still a lot of demand, do you think, in our store for these cards? I don't think there's demand for those at all. Okay. Uh, but the ones that look like the, well, you just found the same the card. The shiny show ones, you. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. These types of cards, we could probably sell online and live auctions, mm -hmm. and they do a little bit better because mm -hmm. of the visual appeal. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. All right. So, yeah, this second this second box. Okay. We just randomly got a couple of soccer cards in here. <laughs> stickered at $5. That one's stickered at $6. It's a vintage card, Sandy Koufax vintage card. Oh, that's cool. Sticker to we five bucks. We actually have that autographed in the shop. Oh, we have oh. that version uh, autographed. Amazing. So getting a little bit older here on some of these, a little bit of vintage, and then you get, get some oddities like Emmanuel quickly. So I didn't see a whole lot that, you know, I saw a lot of cards that were a dollar, a couple here that, you know, would do a little more than that. Mm -hmm but nothing, I didn't see anything too crazy. You've got a stack that's a little bit bigger. Maybe we grab those and then grab those and then see what they want for that other box that I was talking about. You don't think we make a play on the whole box? We'd have to be closer to like 25 cents a card with all the 90s in there. Think so? Yeah. Let's, let's see what else they got. I mean, is it worth make it, making an offer on this box? You know, because if it's, if we can, if it's low enough, then. I mean, if we can get a 25 cents card, that would make sense to me. It'd be like 200 bucks for the box. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty, it's, yeah, I mean, that's definitely a lot lower than the asking price. All right. So what's this box here? So this is their, you know, patches and uh, the colored stuff. Okay. Uh. So this stuff is all individually priced. Yeah. So these cards are, they're thicker cards, patches. Stuff like this just does better on whatnot. This stuff will do good. Yeah. They, these, these things do good. And I like these price points a little bit better. If we're going to be selling these cards on, on whatnot, I don't want to, you know, bombard the audience with cards that are only a few bucks like i'd rather you know rather have some cards in there that actually you know have a little bit more to them now of course these ones right here as i say that these ones are all pretty cheap but you know what a card, you know bigger patch cards uh stuff like that you know is going to end up doing better and uh you know like a it's game used um game used aaron judge yeah can't be that. game used paul goldschmidt audience will like that I think the audience will like a lot of these cards, actually. So this box is definitely more interesting. How many cards do you think are in here? Roughly 150. Or so. Okay. So this is the type of box we're more interested in. So get, get away from just the dollar base mm -hmm. and 
look for the patches and the the cards that have some more eye appeal to them. Yeah. Okay. Autographs. Like just the shine on this card, the Jordan Walker. Yeah, yeah. That'll look really great. Yeah. The autographs. Yeah, okay. What would you sell that box for? Yeah, like $1,000. $1,000 for the box? So you say that that's about 150 cards you think there? Roughly, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and count the number of cards. I wanna figure out what our average cost would be here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 90. Add it up and see where we're at or... How many cards was it? You guessed there were 150 cards in that box. Mm -hmm. There's 154. Holy cow. You got a good eye on this, Ryan. Yeah. Okay, so the dealer just said that he would be willing to sell this for a thousand. It's a little, little high to me. Little high still? Little okay, high. 150, 154 cards. So let me let me pull out the handy calculator on this here. So that would pri that that price is the average card at six dollars and fifty cents. Mm -hmm. Where, where do we want to be in terms of kind of an average on this? Like, My general feel for this stuff is closer to three. Three dollars a card? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, if you can get it at three dollars a card. I would think even at like four dollars a card, you could do well with it. Well, let's start with the three dollar offer and see where they go. Okay. Well, we could offer 500. That would be just over three dollars a card. So mm -hmm. how much did you want to be at for this box? I was at a thousand. A thousand? Out at like right around, I think it was like 12.78. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think we would be. I think we'd be around 500. Okay. Um, which you know, thousands, a li thousands a little bit high for for where we would need to be on it. Um, 500 puts it at a little bit over three dollars a card. A thousand right. puts mm -hmm. it at over six dollars yeah. a card. Which which there's a lot of cards that are like two bucks, three bucks mm -hmm. in here. So I think we we would. A thousand wouldn't really work for us. Yeah, I mean, if the sticker comes to twelve seventy eight, and obviously things as far as you know, when you sticker, it's not always like a hundred percent a week or two after. But yeah. I think my low would be like eight on it. Eight hundred on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's still a little bit over five dollars a card, which is probably a little bit high for us. If we were to pick up some other stuff, could you come down a little more on it? Um, likely so. Depends on what you're interested in. Okay. Yeah. All right. And it meets us in the middle there. Um. Gets us closer, depend on what, what else you would like as far as if you wanted to pick out some cards or if you're trying to take this box too. I don't know if this is of any interest to you or... There's some stuff in here that we like. Yeah, Probably yeah. not the entire box. Right. But there was some stuff in here that we like, more yeah, kind yeah. of the colorful stuff. Did you have an idea of what you'd want to pay if you just take the whole box? If we took the whole box, honestly, we'd probably be at like 200 bucks. There's a lot of... Um, there's just a lot of like, oh, when you get into over here, this whole section over here and over here is just like a lot of like 90s kind of base cards and they're yeah. just they're just not gonna sell well. Um, a lot of them are parallels, shop. I think, they, as well. There are, there are, yeah. there are definitely, I mean, so, something like that is definitely better, but then right, you get into right. these, you get into long runs of cards like these and these ones just aren't gonna do much, you know, mm -hmm. for us. Like we'd have trouble moving those at all, like these ones too, and there's, quite a number of, of ones like that so yeah what if we did what if we did what if we did 900 for everything I think that's the best we would be able to do get me at a thousand Oof. yeah I felt like 900 was the best we could do on it yeah I just know I'll be able to piece this out at a lot of the shows you could probably get close to at least a thousand out of it right. to 1100 so yeah. you could it's just a matter of moving it all right now versus you know right. moving it slowly over exactly. time exactly yeah, yeah yeah I think a thousand is gonna be tough yeah. for us yeah. Yeah, I appreciate the offer though too. You know? Yeah, no, for sure. Um, Can I see that Jackson Holiday over there? Did you do 13 with this one? Then? So this right, is 678 so sticker there. We got more cards coming in. Okay. Okay. This keeps I mean, getting it's, bigger. It's, it's all like color, number, stuff like that. I mean, yeah. it's, it's not like it's bad stuff. I was thinking, mm -hmm. yeah, I was this, thinking is, seven, this is better than that box three. for sure. This is actually a pretty good box. I can see this stuff doing well on our streams. Yeah, this is nice. A lot of five-star on-card autos and everything like that. So you want to give us a total price with this added in too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So without the Jackson, with we're at fourteen fifty. Okay. Puts me at seven here, three here, and basically four fifty on the stacks. Fourteen fifty. The holiday, you need to be at four fifty on, right? The holiday, we'd have to have we'd have to have four fifty on that. Okay. So I'm thinking. For the holiday. Hey, the holiday's probably too corrupt. You want to be at 350 on the holiday? So, just, just, I'm fine for 450. Because we want to we be 1,000 here. Yeah. And we're 450 and out 
Yeah. That, and that really is an over 1900. Yeah, I would say for sure. So you were okay being at 450 on that? Yeah. So then, so then we wanted to be around 900 here. Yeah. We're okay being at 450, that, that's 1350, right? So then the question just becomes, this, that stickered at 678, you wanna, you wanna split it at 18 and make that kind of our best? What's your best stretch? Okay. Our best is 18. 18? 1800 cash right now, cool. we get the deal done. Done. Awesome. All right. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate yep. it. Thank you. All right. Good. Thank you very keep much. Keep the sign, right? Thank you. <laughs> you can keep the sign. There we go. This box is a dollar and less priced otherwise. Yep. There you go. Keep that as a souvenir. We just got a lot of inventory for the store, which is going to be really, really helpful for selling both Inside Cards HQ and our Whatnot streams. But also, I got a really good lesson. I got a lesson <laughs> on how to negotiate a big deal like this from Ryan. There was a lot of back and forth on that and adding more cards into the mix, but it's a really good uh, illustration of how to get a big bulk deal done and, and do it in a way that makes everybody happy. He just moved a lot of inventory, got a lot of the you know larger amount of cards off of his table and got some cash out of it. And we get to take home a lot of cards for our store and our whatnot streams. All right, we got our first big deal done of the day. And man, this is a bicep workout of cards right here. <laughs> this is a lot of cards. This is gonna be great, but there's a lot more of the show to see. There's a lot more value bins to go through. I'm just getting started. I'm really happy we're buying all these cards today because we need them, because we're going live on Whatnot every single day to sell cards just like these. Check out some of these cards that I picked up that we're gonna be selling. I mean, cards like this, that Cool Ortiz card, we got numbered baseball cards, we got some Luca, you know, even got some Star Wars, hockey, soccer. It's all in this box and that means it's all going to be on Whatnot and it's all gonna be auctioned starting at just $1 on our Cards HQ shop account on Whatnot. Make sure to scan that QR code on the screen or use the link in the show description below and we're gonna hook you up with $15 in free credit when you create a new Whatnot account so that you can come onto our streams and buy any of the cards you saw here today. All right, so I just found my way to another really interesting dealer table. This one's interesting because they don't just have a lot of sports cards for dollar bins, but they got a lot of non-sports as well. I'm finding Star Wars cards in here. Like, look at these, a lot of really interesting Star Wars cards. Um, they got Marvel in here. They, these are all raw, but they're all cards that are shiny and uh, could be really cool ones to look at. So we just recently started. Oh, it's your favorite player. Oh my gosh, they've even got They've even got Lonzo Ball. <laughs> I hope they don't have that price to more than like 10 cents right now. <laughs> so we just started a non-sports and TCG channel on Whatnot called Cards HQ TCG, where we're breaking and also selling singles. And so getting some Marvel, getting some Star Wars, that would actually be a really great way to get that channel going. And you got a lot of that here, uh, which, is, which is not something you see that often. Yeah, I like the idea of getting this. Because you you know, they got a lot of sports mixed in too, but I like the idea of getting a lot of non-sports singles and being able to do, you know, dollar auctions of like really cool Star Wars cards. Yeah, and they're all numbered, they're all colored. Yeah. Exactly what we were looking for. Yeah, a lot of refractors, interesting cards. Um, not not base stuff, but you know, Marvel and a lot of really interesting Marvel and Star Wars. There's a lot of autos in here yeah, too. Yeah, you've even got autographs, that's what I was gonna say. Look at that, actually a decent number of autographs. Oh, and now we're getting into some sports. I think Ali, who runs our TCG channel, would actually be really happy if we came back with all these Star Wars singles and Marvel singles. I think she could There's she even could some sell hockey in here for her. And she likes hockey. Look yep. at that, we got Garbage Pail Kids too. Look at that. Sticky, <laughs> Sticky Rick, nice. All right. Oh, you got a golf auto? Okay, I mean, this alone. <laughs> the sea creatures, That's cool. the sea creatures ban array. <laughs> I mean, well, should we ask what they're wanting? Yeah, let's do that for the entire box. Is that box too? Is that box more of the same? It's it's somewhat the same, but it's more of the base of it. I mean, I wouldn't mind filling the rest with this, I guess. Okay, so this box over here, this is the this is the less expensive box. You got more more base, but I mean, there are there's still some color. There's in still here. some color in here. There's still some numbered cards. I'm definitely liking that box more, but I definitely yeah. Might... This 
This box isn't bad. Let's I mean, try you to get got this some names one in here. You saw LeBron. So how many cards are we looking at total across both of these boxes here? I'd say just over a, a thousand. Just over a thousand cards total, you think what we're looking There's at? There's a lot of thick cards in there. Yeah, these are kind of kind of uh, spread out a little bit too. So you're so, so these you're trying to sell these individually for five dollars each. Yeah. So this is a five dollar box. So right, exactly. But so so retail, if somebody were to come through and buy all, each of these individually, you're looking for about five thousand exactly, dollars for the box. But, like, but with, with, with the number. Throw, throwing down obviously cash to buy the exactly, entire box exactly. at once, what are you thinking? I think I'd like to be at Thirty five hundred. Yep. Okay. And then we can talk about these separate. So three dollars and fifty cents a car. I think that's probably gonna be a little bit above what we could do on that. My, my initial thoughts were two dollars a card. Yeah, so that'd be two thousand for the box. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Um, let's see, there are some there are some encased ones. Yeah. No, Mac Jones. That's cool. Why on a Judd, look at that. <laughs> can you get it any closer to two dollars a card? Uh that's too low. Too low. And what are you thinking over here? Um, so how, how many cards? So these are all dollar cards. Yeah. How many how many cards do you think we have in here? About it looks like about one one uh, about almost exactly one row worth. Uh, so let's say it's two hundred. Uh, do like uh, one fifty. You know. I'm good with one fifty here. That's so one hundred and fifty bucks over here. Yep. Or. You wanted thirty-five hundred for this. I would do three. That's the lowest I'll go. So three thousand, and you're going to throw those in. Yep. So that basically gets us down to about twenty-eight fifty if we were putting a price of one fifty on that. So that's meeting us close to halfway in the middle, right? You wanted to be around two. He wanted to be around thirty-five hundred. Mm -hmm. Retail price is five plus dollar cards, so his retail price on this is about fifty-two hundred. Mm -hmm. Think that's workable for us? It's pretty close. It's pretty close to where I want to be. How about twenty-eight hundred for all of it? That's fine. 2800 for all of it? I can do that. Fantastic. Thank you very much. No problem. All right. Thank you. There we go. What was your name? My name is Dave. Dave, nice to meet you. Appreciate Dave. it, Dave. Okay, guys, I just bought all of this. We are doing good here on the mission to get some serious cards to bring back to Cards HQ. So I was really, really happy with that last deal. So when he said that he had more cards he wanted me to look at, I'm like, yeah. Let's go back right now and see what he's got. Is this the is this the ten dollar box you were talking about? Yes, sir. Okay, so everything in here is ten dollars. Yep. My strategy here to just kind of get a feel for whether ten dollars is right for these cards is I'm just going to pull some random ones out. I'm going to price them out. I'm going to see what they're like, what they're doing right now in the market, and get a sense if we're in the right ballpark with all these being priced at $10. And then from there, try to negotiate a bulk deal. All right, so I'm seeing a lot of cards that I am not familiar with. I, I, I'm not a huge non-sports collector, so I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to do a little pricing. When you get up to the, you know, when you're buying like dollar cards, you know, that type of thing, if you're wrong, it doesn't hurt so bad. When you're buying $10 cards in bulk, if you're wrong, it can hurt a little bit more. So you gotta be a little more careful about how I approach this box. Giannis color match, Lenny Wilkins auto. That's pretty cool. I mean, these cards right here, these ones will do well, buying those for $10. So there's definitely some in here that can command that type of price or greater. I just don't know if the whole box is really of that caliber. It seems a little bit mixed to me. But as I said, I'm gonna look up the price on some of these and just kind of get a better feel. Got some real random ones in here. Authentic Relic. Of what? Of music? What is this? A Nine Inch Nails concert ticket? A Backstreet Boys concert ticket? All right, we got some real eclectic stuff in here. So I'm here in Market Movers. So let me look up this LeBron. This is 2019 Revolution, Chinese New Year. I believe it's this card. So this one's more in the neighborhood of like Four. three to six dollars rather than ten dollars. All right, so this is Rashad Bateman card. They had priced at ten bucks. This one here. Sold for $14.99, but a lot nicer patch. And that one sold for $10, but with a lot nicer patch as well. Seeing a lot of cards in this box that don't quite justify the $10 price. So that's gonna be a little tougher with this box. I feel like this is more of like, probably around a $5 box like the last one was. Let me check a couple of more though, just to see if I see anything of more value. Seeing a lot of $5, $3, you know, cards of this guy too. So, so I like the box. Okay. Um, I don't know though about a lot of these cards being like ten dollars. Okay. Um, so, like, I just pulled some random ones out sure, to sure. just, and most of these are more in the neighborhood of anywhere between like three to six dollars when okay. I look them up. 
Okay. From what I saw, it's more of a $5 box than a $10 box. Okay. Maybe there's some in here that are a little bit more. Sure. I don't know. That was just the group that I picked up. Okay. Um, okay. That said, I am interested because there's still a lot of nice looking cards in here, certainly. Right. Do you have a, a price in mind for the entire box? Um, probably want to be at five. Probably want to be at five. For each card, maybe I can go a little lower on, okay. on the entire group of them. How many, okay. how, how much do you estimate in here uh, card wise? 415. So you would ideally, so at $5 a card, yeah. I'm trying to do my math there. So that puts you at what, $2,250, yeah. $2,250? I might put two. 2000 for the box? Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you want to go through some more, you can. You're welcome to it. Okay. I, I totally let me can. let me look at it a little bit more and sure. think, think about 2000 sure. for the box. That works. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm just kind of counting these out, looking through them with a little more detail here, just to um, try to get a little more of an accurate number of how many cards are in the box. 2000 still striking me as maybe a little bit high, but I mean, you do, you do have some nice cards in here. I mean, some of these cards are worth 10 bucks for sure, but then uh, like a, you know, Porzingis rookie jersey patch, Webb and Yama. I mean, his stuff obviously is unbelievably hot right now, but some of the stuff's not gonna justify that price. So I'm about 130 cards in so far. I mean, there's nice cards, nothing, nothing crazy, but cards that have some interest for sure. More Star Wars, a lot of Star Wars. Oh, we're getting some Marvel here. See, I don't, I don't know anything about this world. <laughs> I don't know very much about it. These are, I know more about this world. I like Acuna rookie cards. So there's definitely some nice stuff in here. Just such a mix in this box. Like you've got some cards that I think are really, really nice. Cards that would do really, really well. A little bit of hockey too, which is cool. Uh, Cause we don't have much hockey in the store right now. So building up the hockey would be nice. Uh, but then you get to, you know, then you get to other cards where it's just like guys that are out of the league right now. So it's just hard to... <sighs> hmm. So he wants 2000 for the box. I would like to be at 1500 2000 is a little bit high. So I think I'm at 1500 for the box. I, there's just such a mix of stuff. Sure, it's sure. it's some of the stuff definitely, you know, justifies no, it. justifies it. it. But I would be happy to pay 1,500 cash and and take the box off your hands if you wanted to and do I that. Was, where was I at? Two? You were at 2,000 on it. You know what I mean? The middle. 1,750. Yeah. How about 1,700? 1,700. Okay. Awesome. Appreciate it. All right. Thank, thank you. you. All right. There we go. Got another value box. We did it again. We did it again. Good thing I brought a lot of suitcases because we're going to need them to get all this stuff home. 17, perfect. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much. You got a lighter trip home now. Mission accomplished. I brought some suitcases to fill up and we are getting the job done. Time to start packing and head back to the airport and time for you to join us on our Whatnot Lives. I'm going to toss that QR code up on the screen again so you can join and bid on all of these cards starting at just $1. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Take care.